Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hello. I realized I was filming. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, you're probably going to see future me, or past me, do future me, come drop any video, come tomorrow. But I just thought I'd drop an interesting video topic today. I would almost call it the rise and fall of DeviantArt. Or DevArt, as some people call it. Now, DevArt, I've been on there for almost 10 years. And I think anybody who knows me probably got, probably, I've got blasted for using DevArt. But at this point, I don't really give a shit. It's the internet, bro. Expect it to be up here. If you have your name on there, you can expect your name to be used against you. It's the internet, okay? That's all I'll say. It's the internet. Don't expect anybody not to use it against you, because it will. And even if you have. But I've been on there for almost 10, uh, 10 years, I'd say. 10 years. And the site has changed dramatically. You had originally like this bare bones format on my computer, which was pretty easy to accumulate and it was a lot easier to organize because you could put something stuff in certain folders and make folders easier. And then I'd say somewhere around, and that was that way from when I first joined back in 20, maybe like 2011 or 20, whatever. It's, it was almost like 2012 or so. Or 2015, 2012. I got really good interconnection and started building my own PC around that area. And um, then, then when COVID hit, it upgraded to what was called the Eclipse thing, which mainly Eclipse was being used on, I don't have it right now, like phones and stuff. It was being used on mostly phones, the Eclipse model. Then they put the Eclipse model on um, DevR. That pissed a lot of long time users off. You want to talk to me in the main piss? They were. P.O. Opt. Um, but, so a lot of people jumped to um, when that happened because they didn't like the format to Pixiv. And if you don't know what Pixiv is, Pixiv is the Japanese version of DevArt, which, quite frankly, if you want to talk about the levels of degeneracy, and don't worry, we'll go down to degeneracy, Pixiv is more degenerate than DevArt. It really is a 50-50. Now, after... Eclipse model was put in here, and trust me, the Eclipse model is very annoying, because I really wish I had, there was a toggle button to switch it to the older model, but there isn't, so you're stuck with the, pick, the Eclipse model. Um, they put in, when they're now subscribed tiers, and I'm looking at, and, and hiding stuff behind paywalls. That was, like, optional, and not much was used of it in the past, hiding behind paywalls. People would use Patreon and other means. So, most people who are long-time viewers of certain content, and people who already were, like, you have to reach a certain tier to get this stuff anyway, and it can be really annoying. I'm sorry, I can't. I understand some of you DevR, DevR people need to make money, but do remember, DevR, we already, it's already got a stigma anyway, against it anyway. So, regardless of whatever it does, and I'm drenched wet, of course my clothes will get wet. So, there's already that problem. But... The problem gets deeper. Nowadays, most people are using the subscription paywall that pisses off a lot of young time, long time users, and we're all just like, okay, dude, really? Really? That's what Patreon and all these other subscribe star and other people were using those for to make sure you didn't alienate most of the audience through that. But I'd like to also put, and it's now equivalent almost to the hub because there is so much corn on there. It's almost got a lot of corn material, I would call it, I forget it, symptom of sky. That's almost borderline porn on some most of it nowadays, and that's why I get the stigma. Before, that wasn't completely as bad, but once we got to, I would say, about 2019, they started cranking that up. They could, they could crank, crank the porn thing up to a, a, a max. Um, and then they went through a purge, and then they just said, okay, fuck it, just, we'll just leave it as it is, and people will, will put the subscribe thing, so there's like a censor bar over the picture, and a whole bunch of stuff happened on there. Now, that's going through almost the negative of DevArt. Let's go through what some of the positive of DevArt does have, because believe it or not, DeviantArt does have some positives, if you get to this far in the video. Um, one. I know one guy that's a book dealer that started on there that sells a bunch of books. Um, Nano? I'll just call him Nano. Nano sells a whole shit ton of books. He's made like four books. And he proto he originally prototyped on DevArt through making short stories and commissions. And there you go. Um, so my when I first started YouTube, my first 30 subscribers, I think 30 subscribers were all from DevArt. Or 20 subscribers were from DevArt. And my Twitch was like my first... 10 were from DevArt. So, 
dev art with the community if you know depending on who you know it is. It's a real relationship of you scratch my back, I scratch your back, or we friends or who so with word of mouth, you can get promotional material. Like ups. So it does have its ups and downs. We all know YouTube through your subs and stuff, not only getting passed on cheat of the algorithm, you also have to um know who you know. It's word of mouth, basically how you subscribe for lower people. You know, those who aren't in the higher up echelon and the, and the thousands, like the only way to get around is through word of mouth. And that's fine. And if you use other media, say pics of dev art or any of these other degeneracy ones, which people always live in degeneracy, but as people forget to say, porn, the hub sells. When COVID hit, the hub offered you a premium subscription because they got so much for two weeks free. That's not a joke. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. Now, so that stuff sells. So dev art probably will be around, but it's also, if it sells, you can also make, it also means you know who you know and how you spread them out. Picks of them, them will probably be around for a while. I would say, and the problem with pics of this is all Japanese. You have to have Google Translate. But being as it sells, and depending on who you know, you can get boost your subscription thing up. Would I recommend joining DevArt if you have not been there a while? If you're a writer, yes. If you, depending on what you like or are into, you can go there too because you'll find anything of it. You can make an account, just don't make it publicized and just keep it empty and favorize that because you don't have to. Because people like me who've been on there a while have a lot of stuff that are favored and publicized, and that's how I know how the people I know. DevArt is also great for getting information on anime and stuff. Actually, me entering the anime community, how I talk about I was in the anime community and know a lot about the anime community from the Big Mignon and, and all that stuff, was DevArt. I, had, I mean, they knew so much on there. Before I met some of the YouTubers that I know, with you knowing the VAs and all them, most of my information on, like, you know, voice acting, video games, was DevArt. But so believe it or not, DevArt is not completely degeneracy. There are pockets within it, just like YouTube has its pockets where it's not degeneracy. And some of the most outrageously craziest groups you could be in that look degenerate are also full of some of the most people that have the best information to go to. You need information on a topic or unity or something like that? Go to one of these things. You need something on something in the real world? Go to one of these things. And even if they look like they're just completely degenerates, the degenerates know what they want, what's going on. Because that. But, as I said, I think I've put this, so, is dev art good, bad, in between? I would almost call it nowadays. I only go there because I have a few friends I know, not like Discord them, but I've known, known through text and form stuff. For a while, I still check their well, they just go there to check on how they're doing. That's basically the only reason I'm still on there is because of the people I know that originally supported my channel from the very beginning. If you want to do that method, go right ahead. But believe me, you're going to go through rabbit holes you wish you never got out, and your eyes are going to bleed like the SpongeBob guys. My eyes! Your eyes melted. So you're going to have that problem if you go down there. So so just be careful if you go in DevArt. There's a reason it's called Deviant Art for a reason because there's a bunch of deviants on there. Ha ha ha. Bad joke. Bad pun. But. Depending on what you're into or what you like, it's in there. Also, you could also call dev art woke or political spectrum off the scale. You let me also tell you one thing about dev art. You got the cultist, the extremist here, and you got the which which I would call the blue, and you got the crazy reds here, which would be the Republicans, and then you got your manga ones in here and all the other ones in here. The, the, the political spectrum and all the spectrum, like Phantom Mess and all them crazy ones that are here on YouTube. Is I would almost crank it. YouTube, if I was put on the crazy levels, is here. Dev art on crazy levels is here. I'm not joking. I've been there this long, and it's here. You just go. How did you get that crazy? That's what literally it, it goes down to. So there you go. I decided to make this interesting video on dev art. Oh, what's different in the background? What's that difference? The game I started in the. And the video you'll see then. I hope you enjoyed this. My opinion of what you could consider how dev art was, is, and now. If you all like the content, subscribe below or hit the like button. Or just leave a comment of how you know dev art and degeneracy in there. And in, in my opinion of this topic. Yes, I, I have new glasses and that's why they look like this. So yeah, whatever. Finally managed to get a pair. Don't, don't judge me. Um, 
And hopefully, you're all going to torment me. If you all literally make that mark I asked for, I'm literally going to have to have a short, short hair. And don't expect me to have six dots on my forehead and look like Krillin. I might do that as a gag. Please don't make me do that as a gag. Also, I hope you look through, like the Dragon Age content because I spent a whole day cranking that, making that Dragon Age footage out for y'all, and I hope you enjoy. This is your host, as always, Matter of Kiyoma, signing off. And enjoy the content here, and check out Visual Novel Plays. I'm still kind of working on that, it, so that's still a work in progress channel. Here is a lot easier to work on as said in the video you'll see tomorrow. Later. Enjoy your day. Bye.